everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this lacy bobble stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a fairly quick pattern to work. It's worked uh, using double crochet stitches and these beautiful bobble stitches, which gives the pattern a nice light texture. Most of the texture in this design is to the one side of your fabric. It has a little bit of stretch to it, you can see there's a little bit of space between these bobbles, but it's still great for a variety of projects. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook or an H8 crochet hook and a little bit of 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lime Brand. There are links to these items in the description of this video. Also in the description, you will find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. This crochet channel is updated with a free crochet stitch tutorial every Sunday and free crochet patterns throughout the week. For our lacy bobble stitch today, we're going to work it in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain your foundation chain for this stitch will need to be a multiple of four stitches. So today I'm going to chain 24. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one right off the bat by working a bobble stitch into your sixth chain from your hook. So into your sixth chain, work your bobble stitch. You're going to work this stitch by yarning over, inserting your hook into that stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that a total of five times all into the same chain. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Once you have six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all six loops. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into your next stitch. and chain one. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip one, bobble stitch into your next stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet into your next stitch. Chain one, skip one, bobble, chain one, skip one, double crochet all the way across and you're going to finish off with a double crochet into that final stitch. At the end of row one, you're going to chain four. You'll have ended with the double crochet, chain four, and turn your work. You should have all of your bobbles to one side, which is now your front side. For row two, we're going to skip the chain one space, and then into the top of our bobble, we're going to work one double crochet stitch. Now it's up to you where you want to work it. Um, some people would prefer to work into that chain. It's really up to you. Right now I'm just going to work into the top of the bobble stitch. You're then going to chain one and work one bobble stitch 
into the next double crochet stitch. So you're skipping the chain one in between. This time when you are working your bobble stitch, you're going to want to push the texture of your bobble stitch to the front. Now it's not going to naturally want to go this way. So you might need to kind of push it forward a little bit, but you're just going to on this final yarn over, yarn over and pull through and kind of push it up a little bit here. I lost my yarn. There we go. And just kind of push it forward a little bit when you work your chain one. Skip one, double crochet into the top of your next bobble stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across. Chain one, skip the chain space, work a bobble stitch into the top of your next double crochet. Pushing that bobble kind of forward to the front. Chain one, double crochet into the top of your next bobble. Chain one and repeat. You're going to repeat this all the way across and finish off with a double crochet into uh, the third chain of that starting chain four. I'll show you when I come across. So here I am at the end of my row two. I've worked a double crochet into the top of the final bobble chain one and then just into your third chain of that starting chain work one double crochet stitch. You're then going to chain four and turn your work. For row three you're going to skip the first chain one into the top of that first double crochet stitch, work a bobble stitch. Chain one into the top of your next bobble stitch and again push it forward to the front if it's kind of popped out. You're going to work a double crochet stitch. You're just skipping the chain ones in between. Chain one, bobble into the top of the next double crochet. You're going to repeat this all the way across, ending with your double crochet stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. When you come to the end of your row three, you're going to finish off with a double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. And that brings you to the end of the repeats in this pattern. You're going to chain four and turn your work. And for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat rows two and three, and then fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working this lacy bobble stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.